Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. I wanted to make a quick video and it's not going to be particularly well edited or anything. It's just going to be a quick upload. Uh, it's a bit of a celebration because after about 12 years of owning this laser, I actually have reverse gear. It's taken a bit and it's still a bit more to go, but it does actually work. What I've done today is machined another pulley out of cast iron to match the others. So we've got two loose ones in the middle. And if we start the bait, they just free wheel. We've got a whistling noise there that I'm not sure what it is yet. Um, it's probably in here, I think. This belt's touching on this round edge here on this, this selector. Um, I'm going to make another one for this because it's not particularly solid and it keeps popping out and I don't like that very much. So. A closed one with a fork from the front going back, I think will be the next job. That's something we need to do. So, if we throw this this way, it runs that way. If we throw it this way, it runs the reverse direction. So, oh, this is forward this way. And that's reverse. So everything works. I've trued up the bottom pulley shaft again because it was starting to drift to one side. I'm going to have to fix this a bit. Um, what I think probably is a good idea is to drill and tap this and put a, a nylon insert grub screw in the bottom here against this rod so that it doesn't move particularly easily that's probably enough as a safeguard that's probably the smart idea to do anyway also needs an interlock um it's got a, a pulley on, or a, a shaft collar this side and if we have a look over here it's got a shaft collar on this side as well um, that stops it there and the other one stops it the other way. Eventually I'd like to have this set up with foot pedals and that was that's the I guess the the long term and, and crazy plan is to have a set of linkages or a solenoid system. Maybe if we wanted to go modern so that we can pop this backwards and forwards with a forward and reverse pulley and have an interlock so that we can't pop it into reverse by mistake. So basically have it so only the forward pulley works. And if you flick a lever out, then the other way works as well. So that's the idea. Uh, I've made this and just machined it and I put a grub screw in it. It's this pulley here. We have a look, it's got a new screw in there. Everything looks really good. Fairly pleased with that. And that's how it works. So we've got that system working forwards and back. Nothing wrong with that. Not stopping and starting the motor. Not hard on VFD, anything else. It's just in and out. And what we can do is move one collar along so we can't put it in reverse, which is what I'm going to do for the time being. If we adjust this, on there like that, the 
then that only goes forward the same as it did before. And if we slide this back out here, then it'll run backwards as well. So how does that, what does that do for us as far as power feed and stuff? Let's have a look down here at the lathe and see what we can do. So I've set this up, I think it's about one millimetre pitch, something like that, it's way too fast. If we put this down into this one. Um, And if we have a look over here at the, the compound, where this is hooked up, um, just... So just to give us some sort of an idea how this is going to work with the power feed dropout, There we go. So that's sort of how it's supposed to work. This is all still a little bit dangerous here because there's pulleys and gears and open things everywhere. But now we've sort of got it looking like it's going to work, we can start nutting out a interlock. If anyone has a couple of old cast iron Uh, machine foot pedals, like separate ones, somewhere. Get in touch with me because maybe we can work something out. Um, probably got some cash waiting for something like that. If you can find them, I would really, really, I think that's something that we probably need to, to start thinking about getting sorted out. And also, Anyone who's got an idea for an interlock so that it doesn't... I think probably just a drop down piece and with a hinge on it that's going to drop down behind the stop collar is probably going to be plenty good enough. But... At this point... I think we have some sort of success. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff if you want to see some more. If you've got some feedback, stick it down in the comments. I'd really like to know what I can do to make this work. And I guess one of the jobs too, will be some guards very, very soon because we're getting to that point that we can actually fit some nice guards and make everything look smart and neat particularly on those belts at the back that are ticking over there. You can just see um, these belts here need some work. So it all works. And I'm really, really pleased. So a bit of a celebration's in order. And more soon, guys and girls, be kind to each other.